Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Seasons, and this is going to be part 21. So today is the big day. We are gonna have Jake and Kirsten go on a little bit of a vacation, a little one-on-one, -on -one, if you will, um, just to kind of get away from the everyday life of children, <laughs> baby mama drama, um, and all the other stuff that kind of comes along with having a million kids and um, a very dynamic household, to say the least. So right now I have the boys kind of working on their academics. Uh, they haven't really been keeping up on homework too well, so they're doing it in the morning. I think the bus is going to come like any second now. It's around 7 o'clock, and uh, Connor's actually doing really, really, really well in school. He has an A, but unfortunately, all that's going to go down the drain if he doesn't do his homework. Um, so we're just trying to, you know, maintain that because he is going to be graduating um, soon here. I'm not exactly which part. I'm not exactly sure which part, but soon. Uh, as for Reed, he is kind of doing okay. Like, he has a C. I don't even think he's been to school yet, but same thing for him. We just really want him to um, do well in school, hence why we also enrolled him in scouting, uh, just to kind of boost a few of his skills and prepare him for, you know, adulthood and things like that. Um, Casey is doing pretty well. I think she's about to go to work here. Uh, she starts in about two hours. She is a desk jockey. Um, we need to work on her logic skill and her relationship with her partner. Uh, her partner partner's name is Scout Sergeant, and I think that's a girl. No, I think it's a guy, but it looks like a girl. Anyway, so we're going to have them do what they've got to do. Oh, excuse me here. How rude. Okay. Um, I think Casey does need to get up, so we're going to have her actually uh, get up, use the bathroom, wash her hands, and then if she has time, um, she can have some cereal. For Jake and Kirsten, he actually technically has to go to work here in a couple minutes. Like, I think, um, yeah, he has to go to work in two hours. So we are not going to have him go to work, but we will have him wake up really quick. We'll have both of them wake up because I'm going to have Kirsten um, go ahead and call the travel agency and schedule our flight so we can go <laughs> and visit France. I I think we will be there for three days technically, but um, I don't know if I'm going to have him stay for the whole duration because I think that's a pretty damn long time. That's technically three parts, but I don't know. I'll have to figure that out later. Let's go ahead and click travel. Hopefully the carpool for Jake doesn't come um, soon, but we'll see. Uh, let's have him use the bathroom. Does. Okay, so this is the trip planner. Um, we wanted to go to France. The minimum days that we can uh, stay is three. It's kind of a long time, but I guess three is better than nothing. Um, and for total, oh, for the total cost, it's going to be two thousand nine hundred dollars. Um, that's quite a bit of bit of cash, but we actually have uh, six thousand four hundred and thirteen simoleons, so we should be more than okay. Um, all right, so it looks like Jake is getting interrupted in the middle of his pee session. And I think they're going to go head out right now um, to go on, on their little, you know, trip. Hopefully everything works out and it isn't a disaster. Um, I actually did add a few things to the France world or whatever. Um, I'll show you guys that when we get into France. But looks like the summer festival has arrived. Uh, we'll definitely have to check that out when we get time. But I'm going to have these little lovebirds head off to France. And when we arrive, I will pick up from there. Okie dokie. So we finally have made it to France. Um, it's about 8 o'clock in the morning. I love how when you come to your destination, uh, your bars are green, everything's green and purple ponies. I love it. So we can totally um, take advantage and enjoy our day. Now, the goal of this trip isn't to really you know, travel or you know, go on adventures, although we may do that. It's more more, I guess, to like spend our dough <laughs> and get to know one another a little bit, Jake and Kirsten, just kind of have like a romantic time. It's more for that um, and sightseeing and things like that. So I will give you uh, a quick like aerial view. Is that how we say it? I think so. Um, of France. Now, the real name is like Le Champs France or some, Le Ch I don't know. I don't speak French, so no idea. Um, but that's the real name, and I'm just going to call it France. But uh, over here, we have basically like the little nectary. You can go taste some wines um, or make taste some nectars, make your own, do whatever you want to do. Uh, you have an art gallery for those artistic sims. And 
Eastern Hill Cemetery. Hopefully we won't have any of that happen here, any deaths. Um, there's also a little campground. We may actually spend a night there, which would be kind of, you know, risque, a little romantic. I did add the pizzeria from Monte Vista just to add something um, to the town to, you know, kind of add a little, a couple more venues of things that we can do um, while we're here. Uh, I think I also added the... Um, Alfresco Street Market. That does not come in France, by the way. These two things don't come in France, but I added them in. I also added in uh, the Le Champ Pub, just, you know, in case they wanted to have a drink, relax, loosen up a little. Um, over here, you have, like, your main, uh, like, shopping center you have a lot of different markets like the cafe um the bookstore we also have a relic shop which is kind of cool we can take home some antiques or we can go to the general store and buy basic necessities um what am i doing girl mm -mm -mm. okay and then this is the base camp where pretty much um i guess it's kind of i guess i could zoom in uh it's almost like a boarding house kind of thing like you have a lot of like separate rooms and things like that um obviously we will be taking up a room that has a double bed because we're, we're gonna be sleeping together hopefully well maybe i don't know if it's gonna be like that though but you you get what i'm trying to say um there's also stand-up shower shower stalls which you know we could put to good use oh man i got a dirty mind anyway <laughs> There's a lot of things you can do. Um, so this is base camp. And if you're a single sim, no worries. Um, you can relax in your very own bed with a whole bunch of other people snoring away. So that's pretty much what's going on. Jake in here. Uh, Jake, in, <laughs> Jake in here. Jake and Kirsten are trading some local gossip right now. Um, these two can never stop talking about everyone else. Uh, it says Kirsten Springston has a vid visited... <laughs> visited France and there are so many delightful things for tourists to remember in this beautiful country all right so right off of the bat Queen, um what does it say people are saying that Leon Wilson is actually an alien living undercover in our neighborhood uh so right off the bat it looks like uh, Jake here wants to visit the nectary which we could totally do um, we'll delete the opportunity and add this one in. He also wants to have a great date with Kirsten, so we could definitely probably uh, put that to good use. Uh, let's see if Kirsten has any wants or anything that pertain um, to France. Uh, she, too, wants to visit the Nectary and go on a date, I think. Go on a date with Jake. So we will... I will exit out of that one there and put that one in. Okay, let's have Jake here go ahead and ask Kirsten out on a little bit of a date and True then after yeah, she says yes which I hope this hooker does we will have them go on their little mopeds and visit the Champs Liston's Nectary. So here is Jake's little moped. He looks like he's really really excited to be riding on this thing. Not to mention it does look a little too small for him so we will just follow him through the hills here and we will meet up at the Nectary with Kirsten. Here is the Nectary and I'm showing you guys these venues for those who don't have World Adventures. So if I'm sitting here like talking about World Adventures like you don't have it and you do, totally ignore me. Uh, so this is the Nectary. Um, over here you have like a little private garden. Back here you have almost like a vineyard with all the different types of grapes that are available. I do believe you can even harvest some of these and take them home for your own and plant them and have your own little like, did I say cherries? Great, grape garden. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, this is the, let's see, the actual like place itself. Um, you have a few rooms. I guess you could even stay here if you really wanted to. Um, down here on the main floor is pretty much where the show happens. You have a little quick time bar, some wine or ne nectar tasting racks where you can actually pick out a bottle and taste it. I do not know if you can actually take it home. I'm not sure, but that's pretty much what all that looks like. And here is the actual um, little like squashing fruit machine where you can create your own nectars for yourself and just kind of create different flavors and things like that so maybe we can actually do that um i think we would have to pick some grapes first and then we could actually make our own so we might actually um do that today down here is the cellar and if you wanted to you could do a little bit of um adventuring and uh, go in this little what is this um I guess it's kind of like a well and you can go see where it takes you and explore and you know i don't know just be crazy uh and then down here is kind of like a another area where you can taste some wines and things like that there's a bathroom uh, stereo and that's pretty much what this place looks like the first thing we are going to do is uh, let's see if we can 
buy some wine to take home. I definitely, definitely want to take home some of the France wine because it's much better than anything we could buy back home or make ourselves. Now, I may keep calling it wine, but I'm very well aware that it's called nectar. Mm -hmm. So they actually have... Um, some grapes and things that we can buy. We can buy the Cherimola Blanc grapes, the Renault, Renault, Renault grapes. They have a lot of different types of nectar. Of course, I want to buy something a little bit expensive, but nothing too expensive. And it's actually called the Nectar Maker, by the way. Um, let's see how old this one. I think if you hover over it, once you buy it, you can see how old they are and things like that. It doesn't actually um, tell you right off the bat, but that is a little too expensive. We're going to buy the Plum Melor Nectar. Uh, we'll also buy a, maybe a cheaper one. Um, the pomegranate. Oh, the life fruit actually looks good. And there's apple. And we'll also buy some pomegranate nectar. Uh, I'm going to get some grapes. Quite a few actually. So maybe we can go ahead and squish them and make our own wines. I'm going to purchase about five of those. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do ten of those. The bland grapes, and then I'm also gonna do 10 of the Renote grapes. And this comes out to 228 simoleons. So let's go ahead and click that. I do not know if we can actually create our own. I think you have to have like 10 fruits total. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and have Jake make his own nectar. Yes, okay, so we can go ahead and um, drag and drop, and you have to have 10 fruits total. I don't think it all has to be grapes, but. That's all we have right now. Okay, so now that we put all of our grapes in the uh, fruit nectar thingy mabobber's inventory, we can go ahead and squish fruit. And he's gonna, I think he's gonna get into his chonies, which would be a very nice sight to see, by the way. And he's gonna put his little feetsies in the grapes and start smashing it up and make a foot jam nectar. How tasty. Alrighty, so here he is in his little freaking swimsuit. I totally forgot we even gave him that tattoo. Uh, looks like Kirsten's over here enjoying some pomegranate pomelo nectar. I'm pretty sure she didn't buy that, so I think she's just kind of wine tasting it. Um, I don't know. I think he looks like he's having a really good time. I wonder if he has any sort of mood lip from this. Nope, nothing yet. Um, the apple nectar is six years old. Uh, the pomegranate nectar is three. Eighteen-year-old plum nectar and four-year-old life fruit nectar. So the oldest one that we got was only um, 18 years old, which is probably as old as Casey. All right, so it looks like he did a very good job at squishing that up. High five to you, Jake. We're just gonna make a basic nectar. Um, and he's gonna go ahead and put in the little code. Pull the little things, turn the little wheel, and have at it. I think he's having a great old time doing this. It looks like he also is earning some sort of skill, so I think that's pretty cool. Um, you can actually buy one of these, like you saw, and you can make your own wines at home or own nectars at home and actually sell them and make some sort of living off of that. I've tried doing that in my previous games, but honestly, <laughs> I was going more broke than I was anything else. But I feel like if you have the skill, you know, you could probably really, really make a killing off of it, like with um, planting your own fruits and stuff, uh, and just growing them in your own little garden. You could probably do really well with it, but I just don't have the patience for that, so. Alrighty, I think Jake is just about done. Um, I'm not exactly sure how long that's going to take. Um, but he's going to go over here and have some Melwar nectar. And then after Jake and Kirsten are done tasting their wines, I'm pretty sure they're feeling a little loose. So I'm going to have them be a little more romantic with each other. Uh, Jake is going to go taste some more nectar. And I think this is like Kirsten's second or perhaps even third um, glass of wine. She wants to learn how to make nectar. She also wants to eat crepes, which we could totally do. Um, I want to actually even have them buy a, like, camera so they can take pictures and things like that. Now, I'm not exactly sure if that is France or China or Egypt that has really nice camera, but I guess we'll have to find out. So, where is, where is Jake? Oh my gosh, look at how many people are here tasting out all the nectar. Oh, look at him. He grabbed a bottle. And he's pouring it. That's actually really, really cool. I forgot how fun World Adventures was. So we'll let him drink the, the I can't even say these names, this great nectar here. And then after that, he's pretty much 
I think, finished um, with having, like, all these, like, wines and things like that. Because, I mean, they've been drinking quite a bit now. If, what is Kirsten doing? I don't know what's going on, but my, like, game is seriously lagging super freaking bad and it's pissing me off but anyway it says name your nectar this is not a very good blend of nectar what would you like to call it we're gonna call it bittersweet just because i cannot think of anything else to name this nectar so um, let me go ahead and see what kirsten's doing here i think jake you're done i'm cutting you off at like three buddy <laughs> seriously um and i think he actually needs to even go upstairs and um get the nectar bottle or whatever it's called um that he just made because i don't think it's going to be in his inventory no nope, yeah we definitely do we have to go upstairs and take nectar it says boy this sure does go well with food he is just having a freaking fantastic time he wants to eat frog legs that is nasty uh -huh, make a nectar worth 15 simoleons and what is kirsten doing here she is still drinking a glass of wine and after she's done i'm gonna actually have her um come upstairs it's about 2 24 and i think we've been here for quite a while now so i'm gonna have them actually well actually i think she needs to use the bathroom pretty bad i think they both need to go to the bathroom but um, i'm gonna have her go to the bathroom and have jake grab his little nectar then i think the next place that we could go is probably downtown um and we're gonna go to the general um, the general store here and see what we can purchase as far as cameras or maybe like a tent Because um, I think I want them to go camping like to have a little Private time if you know what I mean because um, I know <laughs> at the other lots like the the groupies not the groupies But the the townies or whatever they're called they come in and like they totally ruin a good time. So I'll have them um Seriously, what are you doing? He's having another freaking glass of wine this is insane mm. Mm. this is crazy dude you've been drinking so much today <laughs> i can't even believe it all right whatever i'm gonna have him have one more glass and that's it after kirsten's done using the bathroom we are leaving jake okay so here we are at the general store um let me give you all a quick tour of the place so this is pretty much what it looks like it has a lot of like un um unusable items there's some gnomes a tent so i think there's a pretty good chance we can actually purchase this tent we can also also purchase a shower in a can um there's just a lot of cool things that you can actually get with world adventures that you can take home and that are actually useful in your everyday life uh, i'm gonna have kirsten up here and give her man a little bit of lovin's we're gonna give him an amorous hug uh the wine is really really getting to her head right now i mean she's thinking all sorts of crazy things truthfully i don't even know okay how they um, drove oh, their mopeds so like seriously I don't even know how that's possible I think there's some sort of law against drinking and driving just saying I don't know so, um, so she's just warming on up to him she's loving it I don't know I think they're getting all tingly maybe Jake's getting a little more tingly than she is if you know what I'm saying but I don't know she's gonna compliment his appearance uh, even maybe his personality because <laughs> When you're drinking, everything just seems so much more better than it really is. But Jake is, Jake's a catch. Um, and then after that, I think we're going to go in. We're going to go in hard. We're going to go in for that first kiss on the doorstep of the general store in France. So, oh. Ooh, they went for it. He is digging it. He is just thinking she is so alluring right now. He can't even, he can't even control himself. He wants to go back to base camp, like, right now. <laughs> I think they are going to be... Well, there, are they at first base or second base? This girl's like disgusted here. She's like, what is this? These, these, these simmers, they come here and they PDA all over my doorstep. All right, whatever. We're gonna have Jake go over here and uh, buy. Oh, I don't know if he can. It might be closed. No. Okay, no, he can. Um, She wants to get inside the tent. I bet you do. We're gonna have Jake go over here and buy a couple things. Uh, maybe we can purchase a tent for our own. Um, some other goodies that we can have through our travels. And things like that. Kirsten over here, what do you want to do? You want to go stare at the gnome? Go for it, sister. It's all you. So, who's this lady? Jean Lambert. Or Jeannie. Jeannie Lambert. Grab lock. Mackie I don't know. Okay, so our choices are low quality, medium quality, or high quality dry food, uh, which we could totally use because I really don't want to be worrying about our needs too much. Um, so, maybe we'll pick up four of those. Uh, shower in a can. <laughs> we'll grab we'll, we'll grab two of those. Um, we'll also pick up the 
uh, Sim Scout's classic camper. And then there are... Oh, we can get the Ken Spot. We can get a moped if we really wanted to. Um, we can get the little boy soldier incense holder. Um, we can take that for home. Oh, no. No, no, no. That is way too much money. But we will pick up the Snapcastic flimsy cam for 250 so that is 790 simoleons and we are on only day one of our trip how crazy all right so let's see what time it is um it's about 6 25 i think everyone's okay jake seriously needs to use the bathroom like yesterday uh so we'll let him use the restroom um maybe kirsten over here can go chat it up with some local soldiers uh we are gonna talk to francisco what's his name lambert i think they're all related all right so we are gonna do friendly introduction she wants to buy an incense holder now lady <laughs> i don't want to go broke on this trip but thank you i'm definitely not gonna buy the incense holder Ew! Oh, look how they kiss! I totally forgot they did that. It says, we have so much in common. I'd love to get to know you better. I bet you would, big boy. I bet you would. Watch Jay come out here, and he's gonna, gonna smack the glasses right off that guy. <laughs> he has a bad temper. Jake, I think, um, if Kirsten and him ever really get officially together, he's gonna have some serious jealousy issues. Not that he's not confident in who he is, because, like, he is, you know? But he just he doesn't have, um, a very big patience for people who are stupid. <laughs> Nonsense, to say the least. So this is a bookstore, relics, uh, and a cafe. Um, we're actually just going to visit the Le Champ pub, and we'll visit that with dates. Um, not like they need to have any more beers or any more alcoholic <laughs> beverages, because <laughs> I think that's pretty much what they've been loaded up on this whole entire trip. But um, oh. They do want to go and have a good time and dance and, you know, visit every little venue that they can possibly. And they're kind of hungry, too. So maybe I'll have Jake and Kirsten grab a bite to eat. And we can also see if the bars and things like that carry the local food or maybe they carry the food from our home world or whatever. So I think we're here. Keep in mind, I created this place super duper duper quick. I created this place. Um, So if it looks... A little weird um, and empty and vague. That's because I did it super fast. <laughs> Real quick. All right, so Kirsten Springston just went to a dive bar. Um, we're going to actually make this Globo randomize. Um, and also, we are going to randomize this color. Uh, I want them to go into the booth here and take a photo together. We are going to take romantic photos with... Kirsten Springsteen. This bar actually closes at 3, so we could have a really, 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 really good time here, I think. Um, we can play some pool, or we can just grab some drinks from these these handsome guys here. Who's this? This is Zachary, and then we also have Fran Are you serious? Like, literally? <laughs> They're all named Francis. Sus. Francis. Whatever his name is. I don't even know anymore. Um, so let's just... <laughs> See what they're doing. What you doing? Uh, oh, we're taking way. pictures together. Uh, Jake, get out of the damn photo booth, boy. Or get in there and pull you out by your ears. Um, he's gonna be a little more romantic. He's looking at the photos. Think he likes it. He's gonna go ahead and give Kirsten a big fat smooch rooney on the lips. And then we're gonna we're gonna get a little frisky. We're gonna woohoo in photo booth. <laughs> we are really just going all out in France. I think there should be a TV show like Kirsten and Jake take France or something something weird like that <laughs> because they are really just wreaking havoc. I mean, probably the locals are embarrassed at these two, and we might even get kicked out. I don't I don't know. Definitely not um, earning any visa points here. It looks like so. Let's see what it looks like when they... Woo! Cool! In a photo booth. Wow, he's really spinning that one around town. <laughs> so they have officially woohooed. It says Jake was in the mood to try out some new poses in the photo booth with a special friend. But blurry pictures will never be able to capture the moment in the right light. Um, Jake Summers just woohooed with a celebrity. She's a celebrity? Oh, okay. A famous frolic is certainly to put uh, is certainly a moment that won't be forgotten soon. Okay. 
Alrighty, so he is done with that mess. Looks like they had a very good time. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and order food. We will do a group serving of, looks like pretty much the same old stuff. We'll do a group serving of pizza. Um, sometimes what happens in the photo booth is not meant to be public knowledge. Jake Summers tore up the evidence of the photo booth adventures. <laughs> I bet he did. So it looks like they're actually having a really nice time. I mean, this is kind of cool. I actually have a big fat smile on my face. I'm really happy to see these two just kind of having some time for themselves. You know, they're definitely not getting any younger. And, um, you know, it's good. It's good that they're, you know, enjoying each other's company while they still can. So they have woohooed and she has a public woohoo moodlet. And I think Jake does too. They don't get the stride of pride. Um, Moodlet for some reason, but I don't know. Uh, I want to order this pizza, but please tell me why. Oh, <laughs> Kirsten went and ordered a drink. What did she buy? Just a regular drink. Okay, so Lovely. that's cool. Um, Jake's going to grab that pizza, and I guess they can eat that because they're kind of hungry. And then after um, the pizza, I think we're going to have them uh, go on back to base camp, and then tomorrow we can get up and explore a few Dakota? more places that Friends that? has to offer, and then maybe tomorrow night even, we will have them camp out in a real remote area. Dang, this pizza looks bomb. I want to grab a slice. I have a question for you guys. What kind of pizza do you like? Um, do you like mushrooms? Are you like a mushroom lover? Because I hate mushrooms. Like, seriously, they are so gross. I can't get over the, the fact that they're freaking fungus. You know, like the stuff that grows between your, your toenails? Nasty. Um, but yeah, tell me in the comments down below, what is your favorite type of um, pizza? Because I want to know. I really do. All right, so let's have him chew that. And they chew this pizza so, like, ridiculous. Like, seriously. He like, he's not, like, not even going in his mouth. Oh. All right, so they're really both exhausted. I wish we could freaking take this pizza with us. It sucks. It's such a waste of money. Two slices for $36. What a deal. What a deal. All right, so, so they're going to eat that. I think he's pretty much good. I think we're going to go back to base camp right now. Um, he wants to take a photograph. Well, unfortunately, it's too late, Jake, to do that. Uh, so we'll go to base camp with Kirsten here. Hopefully we can go as a couple. Yeah, go here with Date. And then let's go ahead and take a peek inside to choose what room will be ours. And hopefully nobody bothers us because I won't be a happy camper to say the least. So uh, this one has a nicer shower, but it's kind of smaller. Um, you know what, I'm kind of partial to this one here. I think we will actually sleep in this room. So I'm gonna have them actually just go to street, go to street, go to the street, uh, go to sleep. There isn't gonna be any hanky panky tonight since they already got it on in the, uh, the bathroom there. <laughs> or, whoa, no, the um, photo booth. So Jake and Kirsten are finally at base camp and they look so cozy like two little bugs in a rug. Uh, I don't know what the hell this dude thinks he's doing. He is like seriously taking pictures of us. He's a paparazzi. Like that is so gross. I wish we could just like lock the doors, but we can't. Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. We will pick up again day two in France in the very next part. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will see you all in my very next video. Bye.